Hey everybody, you're watching Claire Farms. Right now, it's muddy out here, mixing. Can't even turn, so you have to brake steer. I have to go slow because if I just slam on the brakes real quick, I'll just slide. You can't even back up and see the you just jackknife right away. Now I'm scraping the art a little bit. I can normally scrape the art if it's not, if we scrape every day, or we try to. If we scrape every day, I can do it in about five minutes. So I have to go get the tractor and preservative. Put in the front in that okay, yellow now tank. Now we're back in it out of the shed. We're going exactly one mile an hour. Going one mile an hour. It's still cold, so I don't want to rev her up too much. The last bag we did, we put 50... 55 gallons. 4.9 gallons we did on our last bag that we made. So at 9 by 250, or 9 by 200. This video jumps around a lot. Now I'm picking up bales in the field. We have 50 bales out here to pick up right now. And we got another 150 off of it after it dried up a little bit. And now we're still questioning if we have enough bales because we only have 500 bales or something for the year corn stalks. These are 5 by 6s about 1400 pounds, 1500 pounds. Right now, it's about 20 degrees and we're in an open cab tractor. I have the heater on, he can't even have heat, but that was his choice to use that tractor. Today when I go out there I'm going to haul some manure.
the first bale of the year. Next video, I'll put a picture of a bale that I stacked on the way again. We can put 12, 11, no, 8 bales per way again for 5x6s, but if we have 5x5s five on our 20 foot wagons, we can put 11 5x5s, five five but on all our wagons, we can put 8 5x6s. Five These bales do not like to come out at all of the spear. When we put the top bales on, if you don't have the if you have the window on, there's a good chance you'll break the window. If you want to get them centered really good. Because one time we had um, stacked them like doubles instead of crowning it on top and we drove down the road and the bales fell off. Alum on the field we call the hill. And I'm picking up these are five by five, sixes, five by sixes, and then later, I don't know if I got it or not, but I was doing five by fives. We got four wagons to put all the bales on, which that works really good. This field, you have to keep the bales really low to the ground when you start going up the hill. So as you'll put yourself on the ground, or you'll put the front of the bobcat flat up against the ground. If you carry them like I'm doing here. We had 24 bales or no, 64 bales on this field. And I picked them all up in like an hour. There, I didn't go up high enough or tilt down, so I cut the net wrap on the top of the bale with the corner of the bale spear. A 
And then the next video will be hauling manure on this field. That wagon's done, now I start the next wagon. I'm catching up on filming slowly. When whoever bailed this field when they bailed it, they didn't make it. We, so we did half 5 by 5s and half 5 by 6s But it's not like half the field, it's just scattered throughout the whole field 5 by 6s and 5 by 5s so it's a pain to pick up. Because then you have to find all the 5 by 6s This is a 5 by 5 I'm pretty sure by the way it looks. I was so itchy doing this for two days because all those corn stalks come off. My face was just brown. It looked like I was a coal miner. I did this for about 20 something hours and we got all the bales in. Loading bales aren't isn't hard, but it takes a little bit of time when they're all spread out like this, and especially on this field, since you have to have the wagons on the low side, so you have to drive how far, and the bobcat overheats, so you can't go that fast. Now I'm putting the board back, and the boards are just so that the bales don't roll off of the wagon. I chipped this wagon pretty, not a lot, but a little bit when we were doing fourth cutting hay. Now I just unloaded all those bales and now I'm heading back to a different field and picking up some. I'm meeting the tractor I'm going to pass him. He tells me to start on the other end and work my way towards here. Because if we're short on bales, I mean pick up off a different field. I couldn't even really hear him. I just knew by the hand motions. Now here I'm unloading bales. This I'm on a hill so that when I'm on, when I have a bale up above me, and I, I have to lower it right away, otherwise the bobcat will tip back, and it scares you. it's bumpy up here so I tried to level it off but it doesn't really work the best. 
we always like to leave some, a little bit of space in between them so that bumblebees and wasps don't build nests in them. And then they don't mold as fast because the moisture stays in them. broke my finger the one night since a big rock fell out of the bottom bale and it was up in the air like that and I was driving and it landed right on my finger and I couldn't move my finger for like 20 minutes and it was swelled up a lot This bobcat has almost 8,000 hours on it, and right on the engine it says it's good for 8,000 hours. But I know people who can get a lot more out of them. Somebody that we know, two towns over, they have a mixing tractor, and it has 64,000 hours on it. And it hasn't had a rebuilt engine or anything. It was actually this wagon that that bale was hanging on barely. Which I'll put that in the next one in the beginning or so. See you guys next time.